Mr. Sams, it is freezing out here. I know, the kids got a snow day and we had to come in today. Oh, look at this snow. I'm so cold. I oh, know. my God. Um, you know, I think there's there's a pretty good chemistry solution to being cold. Oh, I know about that. What yeah. if we were to, like, uh, burn something? We huh? could. And maybe I could warm my freezing hands. They're, like, turning blue. Exactly. Let's do some <laughs> combustion reaction. You know, I happen to have brought something with me, actually. Did you? Oh, really? Yeah, I have. like a flammable liquid. A flammable Perfect. liquid. Perfect. I brought a flammable liquid. It happens to be, by the way, ethyl alcohol. Nice. So. Well, it just so happens that I brought a fire starter. <laughs> Wow. Even you are amazing, Mr. Sands. I know. Sands. I just happen to have it on me. So I, I, I think so. we should take that ethanol and light it on fire. I think you're right. Okay, All so. Right. There it goes. And we can't see the flame. There yeah. is the oh, flame. Oh, I can see the flame. We can probably zoom in on the flame. And uh, boy. Oh, man. Now well, that's fine. nice. That's that is that. very nice. Yeah. We are burning ethyl alcohol. Yeah. Ethanol. And we're going to learn how to write that appropriate equation in just a little bit. Yeah, this unit we're talking about chemical reactions, and combustion reactions is one of them that we're going to do, and this is one of our favorite reactions to demonstrate. Yes, so, And it keeps us nice and toasty warm. Nice and toasty warm. Mr. Sams? Yeah? What are you, what are you doing? What do you mean? Uh, Mr. Sams, we're in my classroom. I'm no, warm now. My coffee got cold. i got to warm it up. Mr. Sams? Yes? You're scaring me. But my coffee's cold. You don't even have your safety glasses on. I have my glasses on. It's true, you do. Hey, it's now warm, Mr. Sams. Much better. Much warmer. So, hey, I think we should learn how to write formula equations. Let's do it. Okay. All hey. right. So, podcast 4.1, we're starting unit on reactions. Yeah. Now, guys, if you did your work in unit 2 and you learned how to write the, the formulas from names this, of compounds, this, this is going to be really, really easy. Yep. It's going to be easy. Okay, good. Hey, guys, before we start, something I want you all to do, and that is... I want you to uh, tape a couple of tables into the back of your composition book. So if you go to the back of your composition book, you'll find these two tables. The first table is this table right here. It's called the activity series of the metals. And these are in your packet. They're in your packet. So I don't know what page it is that's going to vary from year to year. You're going to cut this table out, put it in your packet, okay? put it in your packet, or no, put it in your composition book, and we will use it later on. The second table is the table of solubilities. I want you to take this table and cut it out. We'll use it later. I just want to kind of prep us for this, okay? So just a quick little side note. All right. Word and chemical equations. Yeah. You know, before we start, Mr. Sams, we ought to talk about one thing. Okay. That I realized that I didn't put in the slideshow. We're and wearing the, matching shirts. Yeah. Is that, that the one thing? That's not matching. Oh. Close. Okay. They both happen to be red. But I want to talk about the elements that are always diatomic. Oh, yeah. So I want everybody to everybody write down diatomic elements. What does that mean, Mr. Sanders? Uh, di, that means two atoms. Two atoms. Yeah. So there are several atoms that when you see them by themselves, they are written with a two. Uh, what would those be, Mr. Sam? Um I call these the Brinkelhoff elements. The Brinkelhoff. Okay, yep. what is Brinkelhoff? Yeah, that sounds B like a German name, Brinkelhoff. B-R. B-R. Okay, I can do that. B -R. I. I. N. N. C L. C L. H. H. O. O. F. F. Brinkelhoff. Brinkelhoff. Nice. Yeah. So that's bromine, iodine, nitrogen, chlorine. Hydrogen, oxygen, fluorine. Those seven elements are always show up in pairs. So if you have just bromine, not bromine in a compound, not bromide, just plain old bromine, it's Br2. Plain old iodine, it's I2. Plain old nitrogen, N2. Plain old chlorine, Cl2. Plain old hydrogen, H2. Plain old oxygen, O2. And plain old fluorine, F2. Another way to do this, guys, that you could that would help you understand this would be is to look at a periodic table, Mr. Sams. Yeah. What you have is here we have periodic table. There's nitrogen, oxygen, mm -hmm. fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. That looks kind of like a number seven. So if you kind of put a box around that, that looks like a seven. Yeah. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six. And actually there's a seventh one, and that's hydrogen. So it kind of, I sometimes call these the magic seven elements. Yeah. You know, whatever works for you to understand this, if you like Mr. Brinkelhoff or the Magic 7, it makes no difference. You just need to understand that whenever you see oxygen by itself or nitrogen, then it's uh, N2 or yeah. O2 and or And the key there is that it's by itself, not in a compound. Right. So what would be an example, Mr. Sams, when it would not be by itself? Well, let's look at the, uh, the reaction that we just did outside. We had ethanol. Okay. So actually, let's, let's talk about this. Okay. Actually, before we do that, let's, uh, we'll, just, we'll do this here. Um, yeah, we'll get that. We'll, we'll do that in a second. Okay. Because I think we've got some rules. Oh, yeah, you're right. 
What is a word equation? That's a chemical equation written in words. It says so right there on the yeah. screen. Yeah, well, good. So yeah. you want to write that down for your notes. Okay, that's what we have it written in words. But scientists, chemists, we don't well, like words. We don't words. like words. We like symbols. Yep, symbols, numbers. Yeah, okay. So a chemical equation is a chemical equation written with formulas. Mm -hmm. And so we want to write them with formulas. And so the reason we talked about this Brinkelhoff thing is that we want to teach you how to write them in formulas. Okay? All right. So let's say, how about we do this example that we did outside? Alrighty. So here we have um, ethanol. That's the chemical that I had to uh, heat my cold hands up. Uh huh. C2H5O. It's burned in the presence of oxygen and it forms carbon dioxide and water gas. So I'm going to write C2H5OH. That's the ethanol. Right. That's the stuff I had. It's burned in the presence of oxygen. Now oxygen's O, right? Sort of. Mr. Brinkelhoff. All right. That's the, the magic ah. seven. It's the ah in Brinkelhoff. Off. Ah. Oh, okay, that's O. Right. But it's a it's di diatomic. Atomic. So it's O2. So I do not write O, I write O2. Yep. And then we draw an arrow. What does that arrow mean? That means reacts to form. To make. So it's like an equal sign, sort mm -hmm. of? Yeah. But it turns into carbon dioxide. Well, this is a uh, molecular compound. Yep. The carbon and so oxygen. The, the prefix system. And then, yeah, so this is the Greek method. So it's yep. just CO2 Two. plus water gas. H2O. H2O. Now, one thing we should talk about here is there's something called the states of matter. Yeah. Now, the ethanol, what state of matter was uh, that? That was a liquid. So I'm going to put a little L right there in parentheses and subscript it. Okay? Okay. Now, oxygen, well, oxygen, I know, that's is, gas. it's a gas because yeah. I breathe it all the time. Yeah. So that's a G. And then uh, carbon dioxide was a G. That's a gas. And water was a G. Right. So it's G, all the liquids plus a bunch of Gs. Now, by the way, what would be the symbol if I had a solid? I don't have a solid in this little figure. Little S. Example. It'd be a little S with the parentheses. Yeah. So S equals solid. Uh-huh. L equals liquid. And G, parentheses, equals gas. Now, there's one other we should mm -hmm. also talk about. And that is we have a lot of things that happen um, in a solution. Dissolved in Dis water. And they are usually dissolved in water. And the symbol for that is AQ. AQ means aqueous. A -Q -E like aqua, water. Yeah. All right. I, I'm an aquatic person. I love to swim. That comes from the word water, aqua. I think it's Greek or Latin or something. I don't know. Whatever. Sounds I Greek. I think it sounds Greek. Okay, Greek. I can.